And now the latest in the Israel-Hamas war tonight. The United Nations is demanding a humanitarian ceasefire. Experts say it's a sign that global support for the war is weakening. Still, Israeli leaders say their attack could go on for months. Today, the tension came to a head on the streets of Los Angeles. And ABC's Tim Pulliam has more. In Los Angeles, demonstrators shutting down the 110 freeway during morning rush hour demanding a humanitarian ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. The action coming just as worldwide calls grow for a truce. More than 150 countries from the UN's General Assembly voting in favor of a ceasefire. But President Biden and the U.S. still supporting the war against Hamas. However, Biden acknowledging the lack of global support is because of, quote, indiscriminate bombing of Gaza. Well, I have had conversations with Bibi Netanyahu, and, uh, and uh, I want to make sure that uh, we don't forget uh, what we're doing here. Israel Defense Forces say its attacks are based on precision-based intelligence. Much of Gaza has been destroyed. Right now, more than 18,000 people dead, according to Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry, compared to 1,200 killed in Israel in the Hamas terror attacks there back in October, according to the Prime Minister's office. In Gaza, nearly 2 million people remain displaced. Video shows homeless shelters in the war-torn region flooded by heavy rain. Conditions continue to worsen even in areas meant to be a refuge. A massive strike in Rafah, killing at least 22 people. <laughs> this young girl crying, the house fell on her heads. And this elderly woman weeping over her infant grandson, killed by a strike. We're going to continue to, again, urge the Israelis to be as careful and as deliberate as possible uh, in, in their targeting. And the IDF estimates at least 115 hostages remain in the custody of Hamas. In Los Angeles, Tim Pulliam, Channel 6 Action News.